Good evening, everyone, or good morning, wherever you are. Welcome back to Decoding with Cody. I wanted to put this video together because I found some very crazy connections in in these upcoming events, the Power Grid, everyone. And I, I've made videos on this before, but this is an update. Um, in my last Power Grid elect cyber attack video, I brought the date June 27th into the picture but now i have um april 3rd that has come onto my radar in in pre in a lot of prior videos and documents i've talked about april 4th but i believe that april 3rd could be the event that leads to kind of a um domino effect should i say you know and so april 4th being the day after is not a coincidence i don't think now if you haven't watched my other videos, um, it might be helpful, but if not, I think this is going to be pretty clear. Um, so let's jump in. I don't want to make it too long here. Um, the first thing I want to mention is that I noticed in last week that the naming of the current Walking Dead episodes was actually in line with events happening um, at the same time. They were naming the episodes as if they were coding the episodes of The Walking Dead in with the, the current events. So I just happened to look up the event for next Sunday, um, April 3rd, the same day as WrestleMania 38, the event that I've been talking about a lot, and that's a lot of rituals are based around this, this WrestleMania 38. And I decided to look up the name of the episode, and lo and behold, guys, the name of the episode is Trust. Okay, and Trust is a 17. And 17, as I talked about in my last cyber attack video, is all about Zeus. And if you guys will recall that Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay, he played Zeus in the Super Bowl commercial where he knocks out the power. Okay. And Notice down here, guys, that Zeus and Trust are a match in two ciphers, 17 and 37, okay? And so this led me to believe that this is another foreshadow of this electricity cyber attack power grid event, whatever you want to call it, okay? Now, also notice, guys, that the episode of The Walking Dead, Trust, is the 168th episode of of the whole series and 168 if you go see this picture just happens to be what electricity equals remember this whole thing is about electricity knocking out the power okay and this happens to be the 168th episode of the walking dead and electricity equals 168 not only does it equal 168 it equals 129 okay now if you take the name of the director of this episode trust that airs on April 3rd, the date in question, and you put it in the calculator, you're going to get 129 matching electricity. Not only are you going to get one match, but you're going to get two matches, 57 also matching electricity. Okay, so again, this episode, what are the chances that the name of the episode matches Zeus, who knocks out to power in the Super Bowl commercial? And then the director matches electricity in two ciphers. And the, the episode number is also matches electricity. Again, I don't think it's a coincidence. Okay, so moving on. If you type in The Walking Dead and you add the name of the episode, Trust, at the end, you're going to get 222. Okay, And I told you in other videos that the World Economic Forum, the people who Klaus Schwab, the leader of the World Economic Forum, has been talking about cyber pandemics, cyber attacks, okay? He, he's had a video on July 8th, 2020, about this very thing. He happens to be the founder of the World Economic Forum, and the episode, The Walking Dead, Trust, is 222, just like World Economic Forum, just like Elbert County, Georgia, where the Georgia Guidestones are, okay? And think about this, guys. The Walking Dead is shot in the state of Georgia, near Atlanta, near the Guidestones, okay? And 
again, not a coincidence. And remember, this year, all the Georgia sports teams are winning championships, referencing the Georgia Guidestones. The Georgia Guidestones just turned 42 years old on Skull and Bones Day, March 22nd. All right, again, not a coincidence. Let's move on. Now, look at the 291s in, in Elbert County, Georgia, and uh, the Walking Dead Trust. You're going to know that the 291 is an anagram or a different a rearranging of the number 129. Okay, And electricity, as I showed above, equals 129. But not only that, guys, the last cyber attack of simulation that they held was on 12-9. December 9th, 2021, they held a cyber attack simulation in Israel called Collective Strength. Okay, so the reason they held it on that day is because it's all about electricity. Electricity equals 129, and December 9th can be written 129. Now, here's the kicker, guys. If you measure from the 12-9 cyber attack to April 3rd, 2022, you're going to get 115 days. Now, power grid in Gematria equals 115. Okay, look at this, guys. Power grid equals 115. Not only that, but the date, if you type April 3rd, it equals 115. So from the last simulation to April 3rd is 115 days, and April 3rd equals 115, and power grid equals 115. That is a huge connection. Okay, not only that, but notice that if you go back 222 days, now remember the 222 comes from World Economic Forum being 222, and we're in the year 2022, okay? If you go back 220 days, 222 days from April 3rd, 2022, you're going to get 824, 2021. And that just happens to be the day, guys, that Rolling Stones drummer, okay? Rolling Stones drummer, Charles Robert Watts died. Notice his last name is Watts, like electricity, Watts. Also, notice that he played in the band The Rolling Stones, who played a song called Paint It Black. And this song, Paint It Black, was used in the trailer for the first episode of Season 5 of the show called 911 The Blackout. That episode, in which that song airs, was about a blackout, of course, in Los Angeles. I mean, just mind-blowing connections, all right? Not only that, guys, but his name, his full name, Charles Robert Watts, equals 115, just like Power Grid, just like April 3rd, okay? But not only that, guys, his name also equals 259. And now we're going to bring in another event that's talking about Power Grids. That is the date of September 25th can be written 259, just like his name is 259, okay? So if you go, if you guys don't already know, but on September 25th, 2020, the band or the rap group Public Enemy released an album called What Are You Gonna Do When The Grid Goes Down? Pretty obvious. And that just happens to be five... Or not, September 25th, 2020, just happens to be 555 days before the date in question, April 3rd, 2022. Okay? Not only that, guys, but notice that if you type in Charlie Watts, which is the name that he's known by, you're going to get 49. Okay? And the date, 4-3-2022, the numerology can be written 4 plus 3, plus 20, plus 22, which equals 49, just like Charlie Watts equals 49. Okay, so those are two events that are tied. Also, I just tied in two events and the, the show, The Walking Dead. Actually, three events if you take in Arnold Schwarzenegger's um, Zeus knocking out the power. Okay, let's move on. This is the picture, guys, of the, the public enemy releasing on 925-2020, and this is the Charlie Watts. It got cut off down here. Remember, he equals 49, just like the date numerology of April 3rd. Moving on, 
Let's talk about WrestleMania 38 because WrestleMania 38 is the WWE event that happens on 4-3, the date I'm talking about. It's in Dallas, Texas. The main event is Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Talked about this a lot before, but they are going to be fighting to unify two championships, two championships into one championship, which is hugely symbolic. But notice that Roman Reigns, his name, his wrestling name, equals 61, okay? Just like the show that I'm tying this to, The Walking Dead, equals 61. April 3rd, the date I'm talking about, the day that WrestleMania is, 30, 61. Roman Reigns, 61. And guys, Power Grid, 61. They all equal 61. <laughs> so The Walking Dead airs on that day. It equals 61. I already showed you how it's tied to cyber and electricity. April 3rd is the, da the date. Roman Reigns is fighting on that day, and I just tied it to the power grid. It all equals 61. Also notice that Brock Lesnar, the other guy fighting in the match, is a 118, just like March Madness, which is the basketball tournament that's going to be happening and ending the next day on April 4th. All right? And um, also take note, guys, about the 61, that that this date, 4-3, is 61 days before the drummer Charlie Watts, the Rolling Stone drummer Charlie Watts' birthday. W what would be his birthday? He's he's passed away now. He died. But um, it's 61 days, just like all these 61s here. But again, notice that Brock Lesnar's 118, just like the song that Charlie Watts plays, Paint It Black, just like Cyber Pandemic, which Klaus Schwab talks about in his video, all 118. They also all equal 46. All right. Now let's not overlook this Chaldean cipher because if you type in Roman Reigns in Chaldean, you're going to get 38, like it's WrestleMania 38, Power Grid's 38, and Charlie Watts is 38. If you measure from now, there's another event cyber simulation that happened last year, and that was on July 9th, 2021, Cyber Polygon Attack Simulation by the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab. That's 38. <laughs> Just like it's WrestleMania 38 that day, guys. It's 38 weeks and three days. Notice how it's 38 and three, just like 38 and 83. Just a uh, crazy symbolic. But not only that, guys. But if you take that and put it into days, you're going to get 269 days. That happens to be the 57th prime, and 57 is electricity. Electricity equals 57. Mind blowing. If you go back to now, one more event to measure from. If you go back to the colonial pipeline cyber attack which happened last year starting on may 6 2021 that's 333 days until 4 3 2022 now let's bring in the drummer that just died remember charlie watts was the drummer for for the rolling stones he died i already, already talked about him but now there's a drummer that just died a few days ago named oliver taylor hawkins he died on 325 2022 and he played for the foo fighters which is uh, all about World War II. That was a name given to UFOs in World War II. And notice that his name is Oliver. We just had another Oliver die in wrestling named Scott Oliver Hall. He was part of the, the faction in WWE called the New World Order. Okay. And anyways, so Oliver Taylor Hawkins, the drummer that died for the Foo Fighters, his lead singer is David Grohl. And David Grohl released the same day that Hawkins died, David Grohl released his own solo project, not with the Foo Fighters, but his own solo project called the band that he's, he plays all the instruments in the band except for one. He plays the guitar, the bass. I showed this in my last video, but the band's name is Dream Widow. Now remember, guys, I told you about the 115s. Dream Widow is 115. Power Grid is also 115. I showed you all the 115s back up there, if, if you guys remember. Okay, not again, not a coincidence. Not only that, guys, but the guy that he replaced that he that plays in the band with him just happens to be named Oliver Roman, just like the bandmate that just died the same day. His name was Oliver Taylor Hawkins. And guys, remember Roman Reigns, who's in WrestleMania 38. Okay, this guy's name is Oliver, just like his drummer that died and Roman, just like Roman Reigns, who's in WrestleMania 38. Notice that Roman Reigns, okay, right here, guys, Roman Reigns, Oliver Roman, 
power grid all equals 61. Remember, I talked about 61 up there. But remember, power grid and dream widow, the name of the band is 115. Okay, remember, I told you it's 115 days, 115 days from the last cyber attack simulation to, this, to uh, April 3rd. Okay, the same day Roman Reigns is fighting, and now you got this Oliver Roman. Okay, it's just, it's all so connected. All these events are foreshadowing. People don't understand how connected these things are. They're all foreshadowing. That's why these things happen. Okay. Now, let's talk about the last thing that's really just mind blowing. Okay. On August 27, 2013, Janet Napolitano, Secretary of Homeland Security, resigned. In her outgoing speech, she warned of an upcoming serious cyber attack that would take down our power grid, one that could impact all functions of our daily lives. She said the attack was not a matter of if, but a matter only a matter of when. Her birthday, okay, is 11:29. Remember, I talked a lot about the 129. Well, 11:29 is very close to 129. Just an extra one in there. But 11-29-2021, which was uh, Janet Napolitano's birthday, there was an episode of WWE. Remember, WWE is what who's doing WrestleMania, Monday Night Raw. Okay, This episode of WWE Monday Night Raw where the company's chairman, Vince McMahon, the founder, does a skit with a wrestler named Austin Theory. And in that skit, Mr. McMahon tries to teach Theory a lesson in surprises. Okay? And in that segment, they use the phrase, quite often, expect the unexpected. If you guys want to watch it, go look it up. All you got to do is type in WWE expect the unexpected, okay? Or I'll link it here after I make this video. But anyways, notice that expect the unexpected is 223, just like Arnold Schwarzenegger, who plays Zeus and knocks out the power, is 223. Skull and Bones is 322. Okay, the Georgia Guidestones, founded on 322. Okay, not only that, guys, but the song by Public Enemy, the first song in their album that came out 925 2020, When the Grid Goes Down, is also 223, just like Unex Expect the Unexpected and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, notice they have other matches too. Again, it, it it's all so closely tied. Now, I want to talk about the other thing here is that if you go from the day that that, ep that episode of Monday Night Raw aired when they were talking about unexpected, expect the unexpected, which was also Janet Napolitano's birthday, that would happen to be Cyber Monday. <laughs> that same day happened to be Cyber Monday. And that's, you guys obviously know, is after Thanksgiving, right? But the fact that it's called Cyber, like Cyber Monday or Cyber Attack, again, it's not a coincidence because if you measure... From that day, 11-29-2021, to the date in question, 4-3-2022, you're going to get 125 days. And this is where it gets crazy. If you type in Public Enemy, the peop the band that wrote the song, When the Grid Goes Down, they equal 125. Cyber Monday, which was that day, 11-29 was Cyber Monday. That's 125. Surprise, which WWE end aired that skit on that day about surprises and expecting the unexpected. That equals surprise equals 125. Notice they all equal 55. Now I'm going to bring Will Smith in it because speaking of surprises, the night I'm watching this, okay, the night I'm writing this, okay, here it is, guys. On 327.22 is the night I'm writing this, and Will Smith comes out and slaps Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars after Chris made a joke about Will's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, having her sha head shaved. Again, this was surprising. Notice that surprise. Now, this is a week before 4-3, and we have this surprising moment on stage. What do you think is going to happen next week at the grandest stage of them all? They call WrestleMania the grandest stage of them all. Okay. Notice that Will Smith equals 125. Just like surprise. Notice he almost has a direct match. Also notice Will Smith has a 118 just like cyber pandemic. Okay. And um, again, this happens a week before the date in question. Now, one last thing about this Will Smith and Chris Rock incident. Notice that um, Chris Rock and Will Smith both equal 38 just like it's WrestleMania 38 on April 3rd. And 
Not only that, but scripted equals 38, and WrestleMania 38 is in Dallas, Texas, and Dallas, Texas equals 38. Okay? And if you bring Chris Rock into it, Chris Rock equals 28, just like Cyber Attack, just like Blackout. So, again, all these events that are happening, I just tied in, I just, just to recap everything, I tied in The Walking Dead show, I tied in WrestleMania, I tied in this, um, what you're going to do when the grid goes down. I tied in the Super Bowl commercial with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I just tied in with this most recent event with Chris Rock being slapped, surprisingly, by Will Smith. Again, it's all about a surprising moment, an awe moment, right? An unex expect the unexpected, okay? So I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe all this is just crazy, but I just, I'm finding all these connections and I know how they love to script things and foreshadow things. But um, I appreciate you guys a lot for watching, and and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give me a like if you like it. I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.